Come on, learn math with me. This is Maria Cristina Elnam I, Teacher 1 of Caribo Integrated Special Education Center, and I will be your math teacher for today. Are you ready? Well then, let's begin. Let me first tell you a story. The story is entitled, Prom Night. Once upon a time, in a school not so far, there were seven senior boys named Popoy, Joshua, Daniel, Ken, Noah, Ben, and Matt, who are looking for a date for their prom night on the 14th of February. Fortunately, there were also seven beautiful girls in their school who haven't found their partners yet. The seven girls are Tin, Lorraine, Anne, Jerica, Levi, Alpha, and Zoe. Let us illustrate the relationships found in the story by having a mapping diagram. Popoy, Joshua, and Matt have something in common. They always believe in the importance of loyalty and trust in a relationship. Popoy asked Anne to be his date, Joshua asked Zoe, and Levi was asked by Matt. This type of relationship is called one-to-one -one relationship. Daniel, on the other hand, likes to collect, then select. He asked the three girls, Lorraine, Tin, and Jerica, to be his date. The three girls were unaware that all of them were being asked out by the same guy. This is an example of one-to-many relationship. Ken, Noah, and Ben are very competitive and they like the same girl, which is Alpha. So they decided to ask her out and agreed that whoever she picks, the other two will accept defeat. This one is an example of many-to-one relationship. There are three kinds of relationships described in our story. But are all of these functions? Let us find that out as we go on with our lesson for today. We are about to learn Mathematics 8, Quarter 2, Week Number 3 with the topic, Representations of Relations and Functions. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to First, differentiate a relation from a function. Second, determine if a relation is a function or not using the vertical line test. And third, Appreciate the concept of relation and function in real-life situation. Let us now define the word relation. So what is a relation? A relation in mathematics is a set of ordered pairs. If we're going to look back or review your knowledge about an ordered pair, I have here an example. This is 5 and negative 2. 5 here refers to your x coordinate and negative 2 refers to your y coordinate. This 2 can also be called as your domain and your range. The domain of a relation is the set of the first coordinates or the set of all x or input values, while the range is the set of the second coordinates the set of all y or output values. Here is an example of a relation. This is composed of the letters and the numbers. The domain is composed of the set of letters, which are I-L-O-V-E-M-A-T-H. And the range is composed of the set of numbers, which are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8. Note that for each letter, there corresponds exactly one number. This is a special kind of relation called a function. So meaning to say, if a relation 
um, indicates a one-to-one -one relationship, it indicates that it is a special type of relation and that is a function. Now, let us define what is a function. A function is a relation which each element of the domain corresponds to exactly one element of the range. That rule or that definition is also applicable to our example earlier. So, it indicates a one-to-one -one relationship, a one-to-one -one relationship from the domain and going to the range. But let us have some other examples for us to find out if a given set or relation is a function. Let us look at these two examples. We have relation H and relation I. Indicated there are their domains and their ranges. Let us try to identify whether these two are functions or not. Let us first observe relation H. As you can see, one of its domain, which is 2, is paired with um, letter C and letter A. So, meaning to say, it doesn't pass the definition of a function, which is it, the element of the domain should only be paired to only one element of the range. Therefore, this one is not a function. Same goes for our relation I. As you can see, 3 is paired with letter F and letter E and 2 is also paired with letter B and letter A. So, meaning to say, the domains were paired twice for every um, two ranges on the other side of the relation. So, relations H and I are not functions. So, in order for us to identify whether the given relation is a function or not, it is important also for us to familiarize the different characteristics of a function. So, these are the different characteristics of functions. First, each element of the domain X must be matched with exactly one element in range Y. This is the very first definition um, indicated earlier. Second, some elements in Y may not be matched with any elements in X. And third, two or more elements in X may be matched with the same elements in Y. So, I will be presenting some examples um, for this for us to understand better. So, let us look at the two examples here. Given there are their domain and their range. So, let us analyze based on the characteristic that was given earlier of a function. So, for the first one, as you can see, uh, one of the elements of the range uh, was not matched to any element of the domain. So, this exemplifies the second characteristic of a function, which is some elements in Y may not be matched with any elements in X. So, we can classify this relation as a function. On the second one, we have there, as you can observe, all of the elements of the domain is matched to only one element of the range, which is number 6. So, it also uh, matches the third characteristic of a function, which is two or more elements in X may be matched with the same elements in Y. So, there are one, two, three, four, five elements of the domain, which is matched with only one range. Now, let us try to look at these examples. For the first one, what can you observe with a given relation? Okay, so 1, as the element of the domain here is paired, not just to 0 for the range, but also to 15. So, one element of the domain was matched with two elements in range. So, it doesn't go with the qualification or with the characteristics of a functions. Therefore, we can conclude that this relation is not a function. On the other hand, for our next example, as you can see, one of the elements of the domain, which is 16, was not paired with any element in the range. So, some elements in Y, please remember, may not be matched with any elements in X. But, all elements in X should be matched with any element in Y. So, meaning to say, um, 
16 here, as part of the element of the domain, should be matched with an element of the y. But since it's not, therefore we can classify this as not a function. We can identify whether the given graph is a function or not by using the vertical line test. The vertical line test is given by the definition, a graph represents a function if and only if no vertical line intersects the graph in more than one point. For a relation to be a function, use the vertical line test, draw a vertical line anywhere on the graph, and if it never hits the graph more than once, it is a function. If your vertical line hits twice or more, it's not a function. In order to demonstrate how to do the vertical line test, let's have these examples. As what's instructed, using the vertical line test, determine whether or not the graph represents a function. So for letter A, given with this graph, we're going to draw a vertical line. So there's a straight line there. And then we're going to count how many times the line intersects with the given graph. So that's 1, 2, 3, and 4. So given by the rule of the vertical line test, the graph must intersect with the vertical line just once for it to become a function. Since, in, since it intersected um, 4 times, meaning to say this one is not a function. On the other hand, for letter B, if we're going to draw a vertical line, how many times did it intersected with a given graph? It's just one. So, this one can be classified as a function. Did you get it? Let's apply what you have learned. Can you explain the given statement below and cite real-life examples? All functions are relations, but not all relations are functions. Write down your answer on your answer sheets. Let's summarize our lesson. Okay, so are you now ready for a short evaluation? Feel free to pause the video to answer your activity. So for test 1, identify if the given is a function, write f if it is a function, and r if it is just a relation on the space provided before each number. This is one point each. In test number 2, using the vertical line test, Determine whether or not the graph represents a function. Write function if the given represents a function and not a function if it does not. This is equivalent to two points each. As for your additional activity, you have to create a Venn diagram to differentiate relations from functions and then the output will be graded based on the following criteria. Concept arrangement, that's 40%. Primary source content, 30%. Linking content together, that's 30% for a total of 100%. Isang makabuluhang leksyon na naman ang ating natutunan sa araw na ito. Great job! Thank you for listening and God bless everyone!